Hey, this is Chet here playing another video game. I just played the most recent... Oh, I'm not playing the most recent game. I'm playing State of Decay 2. Why do I keep coming back here? I gave State of Decay 2 a 7 out of 10 on our website and... It's good. It's overwhelming. As I've told everyone, you get mountains and mountains of work to do. But I just can't stop. I was ready to play a new game I just got, but then I just bounced right on back into State of Decay again. I'll show you some gameplay I did in four times speed so you can get the gist of what I had to go through, but it's just insane the lengths you have to go through to get things accomplished. And the amount of times I have to get my characters in grave danger in order to get through some of the more story elemented parts of the game. That came out weird, story elemented. You know, the main quest that you create once you find a leader, which is me in this, uh, this chick with the orange vest. She's the leader. And her leadership is Warlord, so she goes around to many different settlements and gives them copies of Young Lean's Warlord from... No, no. <laughs> she goes around and kills people, actually, which, uh, oh, it seems kind of out of character for her, but it's what the game told me. She was going to be a Warlord if I made her leader, so I did. And now I'm just executing survivors and telling most people that I won't put up with their shit. Meanwhile, I'm playing nice nice with some new survivors because I lost all of my other survivors for not attending to their every need and whim constantly. I had some people who are making alcohol abandon me after they trusted me just because I didn't come to see them again with another thing they wanted help with. I mean, we had already established a friendship and I needed to get medical supplies, yet that's not good enough for them. They, they went and bounced somewhere else. God damn! Why do I keep playing this? Why? Is is it cathartic? It's not. It's just you feel bad, actually. I think you feel bad about leaving these poor survivors alone with the shit they have. You keep coming back because you want the survivors to eventually dig their way out of this terrible, horrible situation. I can't play another game I like I lose sleep no I don't really lose sleep but I lose sleep over these characters and what goes on what goes on in their home base when I'm not playing it's crazy <sighs> I don't know what to say I don't know what the point of this was just I had to progress more on the crew the crew too and I like racing games way more than zombie games yet even with the prospect of playing the crew too I'm still back they found a way to get you addicted to this kind of gameplay loop you know, games like Minecraft and all those other survival games don't normally hook me in because of their gameplay loops and the amount of crafting you have to do, yet this game trapped me. It's got me trapped, absolutely trapped in its gameplay loop of going around constantly looking for supplies and survivors and whatever else I can get. Also, I would just like to make a quick correction on my prior video. I said that finding rucksacks only give you one of a resource. It gives you more. In case any of you watch the other video. Hey, if you haven't seen the other video, you can check it out at the end of this one. And you can check out more videos by us at hardmodegamers.com or right here on the Hard Mode Gamers YouTube channel. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and check out our awesome videos like this. This video is just okay. Go, and go, and go, and go. Let me see you go, and go, and go. And go, green light me go, and go, and go, and go, let me see you go, and go, and go, and go, green light me. I'm down for your enjoyment, I'll be here all night, we can heat it up if you want, just turn down the lights, get the cameras flashing.